Okay, I'm back. What I did was I seared my meat really well all over, including the sides, after I lightly floured it in some melted butter in a pan. Now, I put some olive oil in my slow cooker. You could go ahead and do everything right in your, your Dutch oven or whatever. Um, but I'm just gonna use the slow cooker, okay? And then I took the one onion and I sauteed it for about, like I said, five minutes or so, until it was nice, soft, and translucent. In about 30 seconds, I added my one clover, diced garlic for about 30 seconds in with the onion. And now we're throwing that right in the slow cooker right along with the meat. Now this is a tough cut of meat. So you, it's very important, you know, that it gets cooked in a lot of liquid, but it gets cooked slowly. So I'm just gonna put it in the slow cooker. All right, now you can chop, slice, dice, whatever. I did about three fourths cups of carrots. We're just gonna throw that right in with it, okay? And I have a third cup of dry white wine, which looks like this. We're gonna throw a third cup of that in. And then give it a little stir. And we're gonna cover it. And I'm gonna let that cook for about a half an hour in the slow cooker. And then after that, we're gonna add a third cup of beef broth. I just use some Swanson beef broth. Cause like I said, you wanna cook it in a lot of liquid. And then you wanna add, I use about two cups of cut up diced tomatoes. But what I actually used was a quart of my whole tomatoes that I did. And then I just crushed them up and I'm gonna throw them in in a little while. Okay, let that cook for about a half an hour, and then I'll get back to you.